Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So I want to thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, the whole purpose of what I do is to find you AI generation software that you can use for free or find at some type of discount. Now today, what I'd like to do is go over uh, VideoExpress.ai and the benefits of using this software and the fact that it is a lifetime use. The fact is you pay for it once and then you can use it forever. So there's no monthly fee and I like that. And while you can see, and I'm sure you've seen this in other AI generation software, that the generations aren't quite great yet. On some software, some are better than others. But while Video Express AI, the generations are pretty good, uh, in a year from now, in f even in four or five months from now, the generations are going to be that much better because technology is improving. Now, And when Video Express AI updates, they're going to update this for you and you will have lifetime use. And again, there's no monthly subscription. So Video Express AI does a great job with generating talking photos. It does an awesome job with generating image to videos. And it does a lot of other cool things too that I'm sure you've seen in the description. So let's just hop right over to the dashboard right now. So right now we're on the home page. okay? We're just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. But I want to show you today the different models, the different generation models that uh, Video Express AI offers. So let's log in. Okay, and here we are. So the first thing that we're going to do is on the right side, you'll see Create with AI. This is where the magic happens, right? So let's click on this. Before I do, let me show you right above that is your media library. This is where all the photos and videos that are generated, this is where everything is stored. So, but let's click on create with AI. And as soon as you click that little button right there, all these options pop up. You can create from a prompt. You can do uh, image to video. You can create talking photos. You can replace the background. In painting, out painting, you can add special effects. You can remove objects. Motion brush. So motion brush is cool because if you're creating, if you have a faceless YouTube channel and you, and you have an image of a beautiful tropical location and you want the ocean to move, you can make the ocean move with motion brush. It's pretty cool. Um, now, and you can also create sound from prompt. Now I've created sound effects using this. So pretty cool stuff, guys. So what we want to do right now is we want to create from prompt. Uh, we're not going to do an image to video, which we could do right away, but I'm going to show you how to create an image from a prompt. And I'm just, I'm gonna put something random in here. Let's say caveman, right? Caveman. And let's say my brain isn't working uh, that creatively today and, and, and I'm not really sure what to write about a caveman. VideoExpress.ai can help with that. So you can extend the prompt right here where it says extend prompt. You wanna click this little button here and it'll create for you the prompt and it will create for you the negative prompt. The negative prompt, as I explained in my previous videos, these are things that you do not want in your image. So I don't want modern, I don't want futuristic, all this stuff, okay? That is what a negative prompt is. Here are the model, the different models that you can use. Human, 2D, 3D, photorealistic, and other. So we're, gonna, we're just going to do human right now. And style, let's not give it a style. So let's run through this right now. We're going to generate an image. All right, it actually came out pretty good, except I would want to see the caveman a little bit closer. Uh, so we're going to regenerate this. Um, primitive caveman, caveman in historic setting. And we're going to go 2D and we're going to reuse what, and this is the other thing, which I absolutely love about this software, you can reuse the same character. So if you're creating a story and you need the character to be consistent, you would just push this button here where it says reuse the same character. Now I can't really see this guy's face, so I can't, I'm not going to reuse the same character. I want to create a new image. Let me extend the prompt again. I'm going to change the prompt. Also, it has video length booster. A lot of the videos will come out to two to three seconds. This will boost the video to about five seconds. So let's generate the image again. On the right side, it says save image. So you'd wanna save these images to your media library. Also by default, it says share this in your public, in the public gallery. This is Video Express public gallery. So if you don't want people to see what you're generating, you need to unclick this. So we save the image and that is now in our media library. 
and uh, we're going to generate another image and we're going to go to 3D. We're going to check out what 3D does. Okay, 3D, this is kind of cool, right? A little like Pixar-ish kind of. All right, so let's go to photorealistic. Let's create this one. Okay, that actually is pretty good. So I'm going to save this image to my media library and then let's go to image type other. This is another model. Generate image. Not bad, not bad. Because it says other, I'm gonna go back to human. And in the style, look at all the different styles you can create too. You can create cinematic, surreal, photorealistic, studio portrait, smooth texture, painting, vintage cinema, highly detailed. So let's go cinematic. And let's say I wanna use a, reuse the same character and I'm gonna generate the image. Okay, we're over here in the media library. We just clicked on media library and we wanna look at our AI created images. So you're gonna click on my AI images and those images that I saved are here. So if I click on this one, this is the one I saved. I wanna preview this. And I believe this was the photorealistic one. So this came out pretty good. This, it came out really good but I wanna demonstrate for you some other models that we can use. All right, so let's go back to create with AI. Let's go create from prompt. And let's say I wanna create a dolphin. Let's go 3D. And then we're gonna go down here to the style. All right, and let's go cinematic and let's generate a cinematic version of a dolphin. All right, so yeah, not bad. It may have added a couple extra fins. Well, right? <laughs> All right. But it looks pretty good. But let's go to photographic and let's see what this one looks like. I'm going to save this one anyway. Remember, if you want to save it, please click save because if you exit out, it will not save. All right, we're going to try photographic. And I'm not going to reuse the same character in this one. Okay, I think it added another fin in there. All right, um, let's go with uh, anime. Generate image, 3D. Oh, wow. Okay. I like this one. So let's say I like this one, but maybe I want to change this to a photorealistic instead of 3D. Oh, there's no option for that. So that, so that changes. So the styles change depending on what I choose up here. So if I go 3D, anime. Okay. Yes. I just realized this and this is awesome. So depending on which model you choose up here, then the styles change. So sweet. Okay. So let's go photorealistic, no style. Let's go photorealistic, photorealistic. Reuse the same character because this one looks good. Let's generate that image. Okay, let's say I like this one. I'm saving this image and I'm gonna go to, we're gonna create an image of a man at work. Let's generate the image and we're gonna say it is human and we're gonna do cinematic. No, we'll do photorealistic, generate this. Okay, interesting, okay. Uh, so that wasn't quite the setting I was looking for, but that was my fault by extending the prompt on this one. Hardman diligently focused on his task. So let's do this one man at an office. And what, what I'd like to show you is how to generate the talking photo. So we're gonna do that in a second and the video. Okay, this looks good. It did a great job with this one. So reuse the same character and I wanna create a video. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna create a video from this. I want video length booster and video has to be facing forward, which is, he looks like he's facing kind of forward. All right, so let's create the video and just see what happens, okay? All right, so as you can see on the bottom, if you can read this, it says your image or your video will appear in the media library under my media when it's ready. It's not gonna populate here. So talking photo, let's do it. We're gonna make this image talk and let's create, we're gonna push this button, create talking photo. And now here are the fields that pop up. We're gonna enter our parameters here. Uh, the voice is set at area. We wanna change that to a male. Hello, my name is Davis. Let's hear it. Hello, my name is Davis. Davis, uh, he doesn't, that doesn't really sound like that. So let's try guy. Hello, my name is Guy. Definitely not a guy either. Let's try Alfonso. Hello, my name is Alfonso. 
I like that. We'll stick with Alfonso. I'm going to actually lower his voice a little bit. I hope we can work well together in our office. Okay, so good. Imp oh, no. This is what we want. Import speech. So you're not, you can't import your own speech. You're importing into the program. All right. So let's hear it. Hi, nice to meet you. I hope we can work well together in our office. Would help if I added some punctuation. Import speech. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. Hi, nice to meet you. I hope we can work well together in our office. All right, let's go ahead and create the talking video. All right, and if you haven't already done so, if you haven't checked out my channel, I do have a tutorial on um, free text-to-speech software. So check out my channel. I do have a, a video on that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it is going to appear in the media library when it is ready. But let's check out our video first, right? Remember, we created a video and then we created a talking video. So let's check out our video. Here we go. The generation is successful. Now in media library, we did create images, but we the videos we're going to find in my AI videos. So this is the moving video. And I can redesign this. Yes, let's redesign it. So check this out, guys. This is kind of cool. All right. Uh, redesign. It's loading. Reuse the same character. And I, I'm, I just want to make a video, right? I don't, I'm not making him talk right now. So I'm just going to create that video here. And we're going to check that out in a minute. Our talking video is done. It populated. So let's check that out. But I want to show you a cool feature on the talking video. So it's just hang, hang with me for a minute. So this is fine. So he's moving. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, it actually looks better than the other one. Cause the other one he did, he kind of he's like flinching a little bit. I don't like the flinching. So remember that I said, we we're going to make an iteration of this. This iteration is better than the other one. So he's got that kind of, he looks, he looks a little nasty, but <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay, here we go. So the, here is the talking video. Hi, nice to meet you. I hope we can work well together in our office. Wah, wah. Okay, so that didn't turn out real nice, right? So, uh oh, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. Hi, nice to meet you. Okay. I hope we can work well Let's together. All right, his mouth isn't moving. So here is the button you want to press. It's called repair and optimize. You ready? Okay, let's do it. This will re-render your, your human talking video to repair and optimize it, okay? And guess what? Unlimited generations. Again, what I love about Video Express AI, you can generate to your heart's desire. Hi, nice to meet you. I hope we can work well. Okay, so here is the iteration of the talking video. Hi, the nice repaired to meet you. And optimized I hope we can one. work well together in our office. Okay. So I will be honest with you. This is, it's not great, but I think the problem is he's not front facing, right? See, a lot of what we do in our creations is trial and error. All right. It looks like it repaired and optimized, but it, it doesn't look like it improved Hi, nice much to more. You. I hope we can work well together in our office. Okay. It, it is definitely much better. Um, so again, if you're not happy, just try and try again until you get something that you're happy with. All right. So again, with talking videos, you can drag and drop your own images in this program. So if you go to Media Library, click on Media Library, you can upload your images here, upload files here. You can upload videos here also. Here's, here are videos. You can upload your own videos. Really, the sky's the limit with this. You can spend hours upon hours on this. Okay, another really cool feature of Video Express AI, and then we're almost done here. I just want to show you that you have a timeline down here to help create your videos. So let's say we like this. Drag it down into your timeline, and you can drag, you know, your other images too. I just want to show you something cool. I, I created, I created this. What are we doing here? I was looking for some food, and then all of a sudden. And this was, this was a funny one I created. So 
I created the, the cavemen in a, in a jungle type area in, in the jungle. And I removed the background and it allowed me to replace the background with New York City. Another really cool feature of this program. Uh, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> Let me show you. So you're going to drag and drop your images into your timeline. Uh, let's, you know, moving clouds and you know, all, all these are yes, Charlie Brown stuff. Let's drag this one in here. And then you can add other elements like music and transitions, and then you'll export your video and uh, for your faceless YouTube channels, your social media accounts, and whatever. There is a feature for automatic captions on this. There is a narration feature where you can up, um, you can use different voices to narrate your text. Lots of cool things. Play around with it. Again, everyone, thanks so much for following and liking and subscribing to my content. It's definitely helping get the word out about some uh, some of the free tools out there and tools at discounts. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. I have the link to uh, the link in the description to Video Express.ai and some other uh, cool programs that I'm experimenting with right now and some that I've had really great success with. Uh, one is Copycopter, and that is creating shorts for me currently. So anyway, I will see you on the next video.